Oh, he's got it. That's a big bat. Oh my gosh, that's a big bat. Oh my gosh. What's up guys, this is Aiden Rides and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm super excited to be out here this morning. Sorry if you can tell I'm kind of losing my voice. I've had a little bit of a cold and now my voice is just kind of shot, but we're gonna make the best of it, try and make a good video for you guys here. I'm at um, a little lake. Um, it's pretty small, <clears throat> but it is, and it's very shallow, which that's what's weird is I was expecting it to be around probably low 60s maybe 65 degree water temp it is opener today i forgot to mention that so first time fishing for bass this year up here in minnesota but i figured it was going to be kind of getting into that spawning period but uh to my surprise it's already 68 degree water temperature in this body of water and i think that's just due to how shallow it is the ice comes off quickly and it just warms up faster than other lakes but um yeah so we might have switched up our tactics a little bit here and start looking for some uh spawning bass and actually if the water's already 68 degree water temperature, I'm sure that they're they're probably getting close to the end of spawn, getting into that post-spawn time period, which is a huge surprise to me. Um, but we'll just have to see, it just depends. We'll uh, try and move up shallow, see where they're at and see if we can find them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start fishing here and see what we can do. Before we get into the video too, I was just gonna show you guys the setup if you have not been on my channel before. And I haven't posted a lot last year, so you guys probably haven't seen many updates about this boat, but we got the trolling motor up on the front. Um, I can throw up a picture of what this boat looked like before we had uh, kind of turned it into this little bass boat. But I've just got a little two and a half horse on the back, which is plenty good for this little boat. It's only a 14 foot boat. And um, we've got the brand new Lowrance hook reveal nine which we're trying out i've used it a little bit um earlier in the year for bluegill and crappie and things like that and that works great but yeah i just wanted to show you guys kind of a little bit about the boat we've got the trolling motor the graph yeah there's a little update for the boat as well all right guys <clears throat> probably can't hear me super well at the moment but first lure is going to be the bandito bug I'm just going to pitch this up shallow and see if we can find some shallow fish right at the start Oh gosh, first bite of the year. Not ready for that at all. guys well I just got bit there a couple times it wasn't anything to like actually get on though so I'm thinking that it was oh my gosh I'm so bad what am I doing what am I doing there was just another fish oh gosh dang it well anyways what I was saying is I think that it was just a crappie it just felt like really like, or I mean, it could have even been a bluegill, I guess, because it was just like kind of like some little taps. Never really like fully ate it. This could have been a bass though. That felt like a better bite. It was more of like a pull or a thump. There we go. That's a decent one too. It's not a bad fish. Oh, come on. 
Yes. There we go. On the bandito bug. That's a bass bite right there. Oh my gosh, yes. <clears throat> and all of a sudden it was like, I just couldn't feel my, my weight anymore. I was like, just weightless. And then I could see my line going off to the side and it was like, oh yeah, here we go. All right guys, we just released that first fish. I've actually caught another bass earlier in the season, um, just fishing for bluegill and crappie and stuff, but that was my first like targeted bass of the year, which is super awesome. Basically, I'll show you guys what we were doing. Um, I'm just hitting this shoreline up in here. This is really the first shoreline that I've tried. Um, most of the lake is pretty shallow, um, but you do have your spawning areas. This is definitely a shallower portion of the lake, um, which would make sense for fish to spawn in. Um, but I pretty much just thought, well, I'm gonna start at this bank, just work my way along. There's a bunch of lay down trees throughout this pond or lake. And um, I just figured I'd kind of go along and hit each and every lay down, um, whatever it looked like it had the best structure and just kind of find whatever spots look the best um, out of the shoreline. Cause I mean, there's so much shoreline to fish. You gotta pick little spots that you can uh, find that are considered your high percentage areas where those fish would be at. And there's actually a little like outflow here, not like a creek, but there's like a little outflow of water that um, could come in, which also, it doesn't look like there's any water running through it now, um, but with there being current here, it could attract some of these fish. So you just gotta look for little things like that on the shoreline that pop out and just uh, make it look just a little bit better for those fish to be in and then hit those spots and kind of skip over the areas that just look okay Because um, you only have so much time to fish you want to fish the spots that look the best and uh, should hold the most fish So there we go. We got our first one down That was a bass that was a bass oh my gosh are you kidding me why are they not getting hooked this doesn't make any sense they keep coming off oh he's got it that's a big bass. Oh my gosh, that's a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. Don't go under that dock, don't go under that dock. Oh, that's a nice bass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Oh my gosh. Choked it. Oh, look at that fish right there, guys. Let's go. Look at that bass right there. What an amazing fish. You can see she's got a pretty nice belly on her there. Came right back up in here. There's like a tiny little pocket out to my right. And I just figured, you know, might as well cast up in there. It's pretty covered back in there. And uh, there we go. We got a nice fish out of it. So second fish of the day. We're going to get her right back. She's ready to go. <sighs> she's been pissed. Give her a good send off here
one. On the wacky rig again. There we go. Right back up under this tree here. Ate it just perfectly. You get like little bluegill taps and stuff, so I didn't want to like totally set the hook. And then once you kind of start feeling it start running, then you can just tell it's a bass. But when you throw up under those trees like that, a lot of times you'll get little taps from bluegill and stuff. And sometimes I'll just let it sit, but that guy totally nailed it. So perfect. Third fish of the day. All pretty decent too. I mean, this is a smaller one, but a super quality fish. So there we go. All right, guys, we just made it back home not too long ago. Um, it was overall a, a pretty good day for opener and just going out and trying. And I really had no idea where they are. Like I said at the start, I actually figured that the water temperature would have been cooler than what it was. So that was pretty good to go out there and figure it out kind of um, just really quickly, changing up baits, changing up tactics. And uh, we were able to get a few fish and we got a decent one there uh, a little bit towards the end. It was probably around about three and a half, maybe three and a quarter pounds i might be overweighing it because <laughs> my eyes are not used to these big bass at all so i could be wrong but it was in that three pound range so it was a good fish for sure so i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry my voice is all out of whack but um, we'll be going out and making some more videos here soon so i'm super excited to bring you guys along and i hope you guys enjoyed so don't forget to get out and learn some more and i'll see you guys in the next one